My first would be, um, you know, it's okay not to be okay. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'm going to tell a quick story, but there was an or there's an organization called Dear World, um, and they go around to different um, college campuses, and um, you know, you'll see people write on their bodies, take a picture, and kind of tell their story with that. Um, mm -hmm. And so that's what they kind of did. Well, they were on at Ball State, and I, you know. I was with my roommate and I was like, yeah, let's just go get our picture taken, you know, get out of there. And we were like there right before they closed. And I wrote on my hand, all you need is happy thoughts. And then the suicide hotline down my hand or down my arm. Um, all you need is happy thoughts from Chance the Rapper. He's um, impacting me quite a bit. Um, Coloring Book is, you know, the most inspirational album to me, uh, for me. Mm -hmm. um, but um, you know, I took my picture, I was wiping off, the lady comes up to me, he's like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Why are you wiping off? I was just like, you know, I just took my picture. She's mm -hmm. like, tell me, you know, tell me about it. And so I kind of was telling her my story and how I just lost Zach, you know, probably three weeks ago. And she was like, you know, what if we wrote one more, one, or what if we took one more picture? Um, and right here on my arm, we wrote, um, he called four times. Um, and that's because that called me four times at night. And she was like, you know, what if, um, you know, would, would you be interested in talking tonight um, at our, or at our, um, at our show? Because they, they give um, mm -hmm. the college students a chance to, you know, kind of speak publicly about their stories in front of their, in front of their peers. And she was like, you know, we're, all, we're kind of all booked up in terms of speakers, but I think yours is an important message. And so that was my first time speaking publicly on it. And so I show up um, kind of an hour before to talk to her or to kind of write down what I was going to say, um, because one, I knew I was going to be emotional, so it's going to be hard to keep keep on track. And two, um, you know, I, I just felt it was best to kind of go over it. Um, and so I ended mine with, or I ended what I was going to say with, it's okay not to be okay. And she goes, what if we ended up with it's okay not to be okay because that's better than not being here. Um, yeah. And I think that I think that was kind of the the spark and the change and and everything for me because it's like I think we only think of you know it's okay to either be okay or not be okay. Mm -hmm. I mean sometimes we're in that fine line of you know where where are we? We don't know where we are. Yeah. You know, and and sometimes we just got we're still here. We're still alive. We're still breathing. We're still you know we're blessed to be alive. Um, and so I think that sometimes we, you know, we just gotta, just gotta be, be okay being in that fine line. Um, so that would kind of be my first point. And then my second would be, be honest about what you're going through. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I was always told not everyone needs to know just a few good people. Yeah. And so kind of communi communicating that to your, to your good people. Um, if it's someone older than you, maybe they can, if you need real help as far as you know professional counseling medication whatever it is they can help you get that hopefully um and so my when i speak to teams it's kind of director of basketball operations coaches can help you get counseling can help you kind of mm -hmm. figure out what it is if it's something um that you feel like you you want to just talk about because i feel like counseling is good you know whether you're sad mad unhappy, whatever it is i think it's good to just be able to go to have another outlet to speak Thank you.